Hi gang, I'm Dr. Valerie Montero, leading expert in peripheral neuropathy, co-author of the critically acclaimed book, Defeat Neuropathy Now in Spite of Your Doctor, and the ebook, The Great Neuropathy Hoax, and co-founder of Nephoria CM. My mission is to empower each and every one of you who currently suffer with peripheral neuropathy so you're not resigned to giving up and just living with this horrible condition. If you're new to my videos, click on that subscribe button and also on the bell so you can get notified as soon as I publish new content. Well, let's get started. Many of you have already been given the diagnosis of peripheral neuropathy, but there are still quite a few of you out there that don't quite know whether or not you have neuropathy. So let me start with a very brief review of what peripheral neuropathy is and how do you know if you have it? First, there are two parts to your nervous system. The central nervous system, which consists of your brain and your spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, consisting of nerves that branch from the spinal cord and they extend to all parts of the body. Your peripheral nervous system allows messages to be delivered back and forth from the brain to the rest of your body, including your arms, hands, feet, legs, internal organs, mouth and face. When these nerves get damaged, communication with the brain may get disrupted or distorted. This can result in symptoms in both feet or legs or both hands and arms like numbness, tingling, pins and needles, or burning sensations. It can also result in dull, achy pain, sharp pain, lightning bolt pain, or cramping pain. You may notice muscle weakness, loss of balance, and loss of coordination. Now, these are just a few of the very many symptoms a peripheral neuropathy sufferer may encounter. If you're not sure if you have peripheral neuropathy, I'm gonna include a link in the description uh, box so that you can read more about it. Just click on the link below to gain access after this video is over with. Chances are, if you've been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy, then you've been told by your doctor, maybe a family physician, a neurologist, an oncologist, that there is no cure for this condition. It's permanent and you'll just have to learn to live with it. Let me know if any of you out there have heard this from any of your doctors. Leave me a comment in the description box and tell me where you heard that from and how did it make you feel? Well, this is the furthest thing from the truth and it doesn't even make sense that doctors would say this because in med school, we're taught that following a nerve injury or damage, a peripheral nerve will repair itself by either regenerating nerve cells or by sprouting new branches of peripheral nerves. This is called nerve re -innervation. There are hundreds of studies that have been published on this in highly respected journals like the Journal of Neurology, the Journal of Oncology, and the British Medical Journal, to name just a few. The point is, this is a well-known scientific fact. If the peripheral nerve can make a complete connection, then full recovery will occur. This means that muscles can be re-strengthened, balance regained, or the abnormal feelings of numbness, burning, tingling, pins and needles, itchy or crawling sensations will cease. However, there are a few roadblocks that can interfere and prevent nerve repair or nerve re -innervation. For instance, certain medications are known culprits for inhibiting nerve repair. Medications like statins for lowering cholesterol will not only block nerve re but it will cause more damage to the nerves. Other drugs that can do this as well are a group of antihypertensives for blood pressure management, and they're known as calcium channel blockers. These would be medications like Norvasc, Amlodipine, Philodipine, Diltiazem, Cardizem, Procardia, Verapamil, KLNSR, Verilin, and others in this class. Also, for nerve repair to occur, the nerve must have the appropriate building blocks to allow for regeneration or nerve growth. We call these neurotrophic nutrients. The word neurotrophic means something that will stimulate nerve growth or repair. So neurotrophic nutrients are biomolecules of vitamins, antioxidants, and or minerals that support the growth, the survival, and the development of new healthy nerve fib fibers. Research has proven that the following nutrients have the capabilities of aiding in nerve repair and regeneration, and they can also diminish the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. These nutrients are benfodiamine, the fat-soluble form of vitamin B1, 
pyridoxal 5-phosphate, the most bioavailable form of B6, methylcobalamin, the most bioactive and natural form of B12, folate, a natural methylated form of vitamin B9, R-alpha lipoic acid, the most bioavailable natural form of alpha lipoic acid, acetyl-L-carnitine, an amino acid known to stimulate nerve regeneration and allow for neuroprotection, and L-citrulline, an amino acid which is a precursor to making nitric oxide. Over 100 clinical studies have been published in medical journals proving that the combination of these critical neurotrophic nutrients, benfodiamin, pyridoxal 5-phosphate, methylcobalamin, folate, R-alpha lipoic acid, acetyl-L-carnitine, and L-citrulline can assist with repairing damaged peripheral nerves and decrease symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. If you want to learn more about all of the benefits of these neurotrophic nutrients and how clinical studies have shown that they specifically heal nerves, I've included a link below in the description box to my video, How to Choose the Right Nerve Support Formula. For severe cases of peripheral neuropathy, research has shown that along with the use of these neurotrophic nutrients, near-infrared light therapy, also known as low-level laser therapy, is highly successful with repairing damaged peripheral nerves. Low-level laser therapy has been well-researched and backed by excellent results. In fact, it's been used clinically for over 30 years in some countries in Eastern Europe and Asia to treat damaged nerves. Now, it's also gaining recognition in Canada. There are three types of infrared laser. There's the far infrared, the mid, and the near infrared laser. We're only interested in near infrared laser with a wavelength between 810 and 1100 nanometers because it has the deepest penetration into the body, allowing it to affect the peripheral nerves. In fact, hundreds of clinical studies have confirmed the efficacy of this type of light therapy, including prestigious institutions like Harvard Medical School and Massachusetts General Hospital. Near-infrared light therapy has been approved by the FDA since the 1990s. The lasers decrease inflammation to the nerves and increase circulation by 500%, allowing for oxygen and other vital nutrients to be delivered to the damaged nerves. This creates the optimum healing environment and accelerates peripheral nerve tissue regeneration. Here's something that's important to know about NIR or near-infrared lasers. Not all lasers are created equally. So, here are some basic requirements to look for when shopping for a laser. The majority of infrared LED bulbs must be between 810 to 1100 nanometers in wavelength for effectiveness. The laser must be FDA cleared. Make sure the laser pads cover large surface areas, meaning it should cover the entire bottom of your feet or your hands, and it should never be a wand-like or a handheld device. So at this point, the question you might be asking yourself is, if it's proven that peripheral nerves can heal, why are so many doctors saying they don't? Well, here's the reason. The Mayo Clinic has stated that peripheral nerves are the slowest healing tissues in the body. And they further went on to state that it can take anywhere from eight months to two years for a peripheral nerve to fully heal or regenerate. Now, the average doctor will only give a treatment two to three weeks to see if it elicits a change. And if one isn't observed, they will move on and ditch the treatment. Well, that method of practice doesn't work when you're dealing with peripheral nerves. Research has shown that a nerve will only regenerate by one inch per month. Now, this might sound like a lot, but when you take into consideration that we have approximately 90,000 miles of peripheral nerves in our body, well, one inch per month isn't a lot of regrowth and certainly isn't regrowth that's done quickly. So it can take anywhere from two to three months before a peripheral neuropathy sufferer will see even the slightest improvement, depending upon the severity of their neuropathy and how long they've had this condition. Again, if the average doctor hasn't seen changes within the first couple of weeks, they throw in the towel. Now, complex this with the fact that most doctor's offices will be visited by several pharmaceutical reps each week. And each of these reps are educating the doctor about why their drug is the best approach. So you have doctors, doctors that are receiving the vast majority of their education about particular drugs from the pharmaceutical rep. 
Is it any wonder that peripheral neuropathy medication like Lyrica and pregabalin earn a whopping $4.2 billion a year from sales? Gabapentin sales top off at $2 billion a year, while Cymbalta and Duloxetine sales top the charts at $4.9 billion each year. So you might be scratching your head asking, how can this still be going on when European countries have been successfully reversing peripheral neuropathy for 30 years? Well, that's a great question, and here's the answer. According to the study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, it takes over 23 years for well-researched information to get into clinical practice. And research has shown here in the US, less than 1% of the physicians, including neurologists, know how to heal peripheral nerve damage. Now, I had a strong motivating factor to dig through the research, which literally took me hundreds of hours. My motivation was that my mother's quality of life depended upon it, and I wasn't about to let her down. For any of you that would like to know about my journey with my mother's severe peripheral neuropathy, I'll put the link for that video down below in the description box, and it's titled, My Mom's Story. The average doctor is not compelled and doesn't have the time to sift through hours, let alone hundreds of hours of research material. Please understand, it's not necessarily that your doctor doesn't care about you. On the contrary, most doctors are very compassionate and care deeply about their patients. It's that your doctor simply doesn't have the time to dig through the research. There are literally hundreds of research studies being published every month. It's much easier to flow with the current than try to, uh, try to swim upstream, which is how your doctor most likely perceives it. The important takeaway here is that it has been successfully proven, scientifically proven, that peripheral nerves can be repaired. They can heal and they can even regenerate or grow new healthy nerves. You don't have to live a life of misery any longer. You can escape the misery of peripheral neuropathy. The basic foundation that Dr. Coppola and I always start with for our patients is by prescribing Nephoria CM Gold and Blue. We developed these formulas based on over 100 clinical studies that have proven the effectiveness of the ingredients for repairing and regenerating damaged peripheral nerves. For those of you that would like to learn more about these formulas, just click the link below. Some of you will want to simply digest the information that I've shared with you today, and that's perfectly fine. It's a great start. It's my mission to empower you with the most up-to-date research information so you can experience the very best in your health journey. For more eye-opening information on peripheral neuropathy and what you can do to take control, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel or head over to my website for up-to-date blogs, information, and real patient testimonials. I'll leave the link below in the description box, and I look forward to hearing about your journey back to great health. Blessings.